The perfect game to start a live stream. I can't believe this game is like 10 years old already. Still echoing? It shouldn't be echoing. I, I accidentally skipped there. I have to get it set up so I can uh, see the chat from the game. Let's see. Pop out chat. Should be able to read the chat from the game now. Let me know if I'm still echoing. <clears throat> Probably play on like North. And we shall not be witty and charming. We'll just stab things. And, uh, you know, we'll just go with default time. It's been a long while since I've played this game. The music might be a little bit loud. I can change that once we get into the game. Alright, I'm good. So, we can play as the, the dastardly Spanish... decision. Oh, good. <laughs> um, I'm not playing as a Spanish. I generally play as the Dutch. Because uh, they've got a really good city to make lots of money in. We'll, we'll just go with the Dutch. You try test. This captain's a jerk. I'm gonna be so much better than him when I'm a captain. Crews really love to mutiny though, it's no surprise. what I was expecting to have happen, but all right, well, that's fine. We're into the game. Let me, uh, maybe turn the volume down just a smidge. It seems a little loud to me. All right. So, to, uh, Curacao, I don't know, Curaco, however you're supposed to pronounce crazy Dutch names. So, let's go talk to the governor. Mm. I don't even have a cool coat yet or a hat. We need to get a better hat. So the good news is they're at war with the Spanish. The evil Spanish and the slimy French. Very slimy. That's why we can never play as this French. And this is what we all need in real life. It's a letter of Mark. And then we can sink the ships of our enemies. I love it. Oh, I know where the Spanish are. Don't worry. That is not going to be a hard thing to do. Oh, that's cool. This means we can probably get like a treasure galleon right off the bat if I uh, if I can take it out. That'll be fun. 
Ren and Tong. Well, this is off to a good start. So, um, what kind of ship do we have? We've got a sloop, the Revenge. No special upgrades, really. Well, we could get a copper plate if we had more money. Yeah, we will get a hat with a really nice feather eventually. Let's get some more crew. More crew means faster reloads and better sail stuff. Sailing, you know. We could buy an amazing sword. Aw, I'd love to have a sword. It's way too expensive though. We're not going to go pirate hunting just yet, but uh, you can make some money. It's actually pretty close by. And what's the barkeep got for us? Fine grain powder's nice, but uh, yeah, we're not going to... Oops, don't click out of the screen. Probably causes weird problems. Alright, let's try this again. Okay, so uh, check our status. We got like four months of food. That seems good, right? One. We can rename it too. The revenge is good though. Seal of our stats is in zero. Spain's at war with everyone as always. And we even get a French Dutch war. The Great French Dutch War of 1616. We've got quite the map. What I like to do is hang out in Curacao and then just raid all the Spanish mainland. Basically, that's, that's my favorite way to play. I want uh, Henry Morgan's loot though. That's that's pretty sweet. That's that's worth a lot of rum for sure. You can learn all about the boats. We're in a sloop. <laughs> this is one thing I've never really done in this game. Where's our sloop? So uh, we got stats even. Look at that. Twelve guns. It means I don't even have enough guns yet. It's pretty cool. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go. Let's go pirating. So this is the Dutch Raider we're supposed to sort of escort. It's heading somewhere down here. We've got... Trade Galleons have a little bit of money. That's not what I'm really looking for. Actually, maybe that's the one we're supposed to take out. I just... <laughs> Don't sail over rocks. Good, good pro tip there. Alright, let's, let's just take this guy out. Or immediately get crushed. Pretty sure I'll be okay though. I could probably just board him right now. Alright. More guns, yeah. If I don't destroy all his guns, I can get four more, so let's go for that. I'm pretty good at the sword fight, so we should be fine. Alright, come here, you. He, he, he surrendered? <laughs> What a loser! I didn't. I barely even hit him. Well, he knows who we are now. That's good. So there we go. More guns, and we'll just take his uh, sugar. This is actually probably enough to get us uh, a promotion already. The good thing about not destroying it is you, it, we can capture it at full health, which means we can sell it. Oh, we also went to the mission. Cool. Sometimes you get fun little things here. Yeah, that was the best capture ever. Hello, Monster Man. Ah, uh, good. We need to find the evil Baron Raimondo. That's perfect. He's... I don't know if I'm going to go there right away. I need a little bit better ship, maybe. But, uh, we're definitely going to want to capture that dude. Alright. We could trade, but they generally don't offer very good prices, like, for sugar. So we're going to hold on to that for now. Alright. Let, let's go... Let's go, uh, sell this ship. And then we can probably upgrade our own ship. The sloop is the weakest of its tier. Like, there's a bunch of different kinds of sloops. Three. And this is the weakest. So I don't really want to spend too much money upgrading it. All good. Look at all the money we're going to make. Haha. -ha. We'll keep three months of food. We're, we're not going to sail very far before we attack someone else. Also, by the way. Still at war with the evil Spanish. And I did indeed capture a trade galleon. He didn't promote me, you jerk! I guess, I think it's depending on what difficulty you play on is like how hard it is to get promotions. Well, copper plating... 
It'll make the early game a little bit easier if we upgrade this. We can turn better. Uh -huh. That'll help. And then we can sell this puppy. Paid for it. Sweet! If we need more crew, we might as well. We could buy a pirate treasure. Yeah, treasure map. Well, this is like the worst kind of quarter maps you could get. At least it tells you the approximate area, but there's really not a lot to go on. So let's see where Porto Cabello is, and probably not be able to do anything about it right now. Oh, this is what we want. This is way better. Cumana. All right, that's that's where to go. He's heading to Caracas. Actually, it's good. He's passing right through. He used to be over here. He's heading this way. So we might even be able to catch this guy and the treasure fleet if we're lucky, which would be really hard, but fun. All right, look at the map. So what did they say? Caracas and Cumana, and then Porto Cabello. Wow, the, the pirate treasure is also right down here somewhere. So everything is local. A lot of the times I find you'll get a treasure map, and it'll be like by Panama on the other side of, well, it's kind of the wrong ocean. Or like off in Villa Hermosa, so you have to you have to head up here to catch Baron whatever his name is. Oh, I, I gotta get to some sword fighting. I, I used to be really good at this stuff. Like, playing on whatever normal difficulty I selected should be such a piece of cake for me if I can remember how to play. Um, yeah. I just want to keep these first couple adventures short and sweet. So, uh, I just want to get a, a promotion or two right away. I, I used to play this game a lot. Aw, <laughs> uh, he hit me. This guy will probably just surrender to them. Send him the grapes! These uh, destroy crew members, in case you didn't know. And they don't destroy the hull as much. Alright, he put some holes in our, our uh, sails. Ah, they all just want to give up. Still, it's good. It's probably better to have less uh, sword fights. I believe the more damage you take in sword fights, the older, like, the, the more injured your uh, your dude gets, and then things get harder much quicker. So let's do a couple quick trade galleon battles. Oh, I suppose... Um, where is it? You can change... somewhere. I'll, I'll kill him soon enough. The Spanish already have a, a bounty on us. There's a way to change your flag, and I forget how to do it. It's not in the pirate. Where would it be? Fleet status? No, that just takes us to there. I'll try to remember where it is, because right now we are sort of sailing for the Dutch. We're not exactly pirates. Trade galleon, yada yada. Still no promotions. Maybe I've forgotten how to play. We could get a false mustache. That's one we, uh, we totally need. Spanish Brigandine. Well, that's not bad. What you really want are military payrolls if you're trying to get that kind of cash. Anyway, let's just sell our stuff quick. We're actually making pretty good money just taking these trade galleons, so... I'm not terribly worried. It's a good start. A little bit of repair. Privateer? Yeah, that's kind of what we're going for for now. Sometimes you play just as a pure pirate and sink everything, but... I mean, I think to get the good endings, you basically have to, uh... Sloop of War would actually be an upgrade, because we only have a normal sloop. This would have more guns. Plus, we could capture that. Yeah, let's do it. So we're gonna go straight at this guy. They got too many guns. We've got the crew disadvantage, but it's fine. Alright, here we go. Sword fight in time. Um, I usually go with Cutlass. Um... Especially on higher difficulties, when the enemy picks a rapier, there's just no way to dodge it unless you have a cutlass. But we should be fine no matter what we pick right now. Also, we're a fencing master. Which helps. I'm using the keypad, the numpad for fighting, in case you're wondering. I don't like galleons. They're slow and kind of boring. Also, we've only seen trade galleons. You need the, uh sort of war galleons if you want to at least use those. I'll probably switch to a, a frigate eventually. Alright, we are going to keep this thing. 
He was even carrying the spice. That's really good. I think these things can hold... 16 guns, if I remember correctly. But now we gotta go capture the Trade Galleon. We wanna do some more sword fighting, right? I mean, uh, bucket fighting. This guy is not very good at fighting. You can see by how slow his wind-ups are. Oh, I could totally counter that kind of stuff easily. Even with a cutlass, I could probably hit him on those. Yeah. Well, that'll teach him. This game is Sid Meier's Pirates. It is from 2003 or 2004. It is awesome, Monster Man. I haven't played it in a long time. Welcome aboard, lads. There's the money and more spice. Oh, we are rich. You don't generally sell guns for very much. Food is generally worth a little bit more, but... We've got spare cargo space, might as well take it, and we'll sell the ship again. Back to port, me laddies! Watch out for the storm clouds, though. They give you a nice uh, speed boost, but you can damage your ships. Alright, Governor, come on, you gotta give me a promotion for this. Yeah, I captured a trade galleon, yeah. Here you go! Now I'm Captain Ankylo, and I have fancy little shoulder... Wingdings. Um, we can also get more crew, that's nice. Oh, and we can see his attractive daughter. We, we won't be going for any attractive daughters, don't worry, there's beautiful. So we'll be going for them for sure. I'm pretty picky with, with the lady I choose. Just like real life. Um, to the merchant. Man, spice is the stuff though, look at the money here. It's on Steam, I'm pretty sure. Oh, the merchant is actually out of money, wow. Down to 16 guns. I'm gonna lose some spice actually, probably here. They just don't have enough money. I guess I could hold on to one of my ships. Oops. Oops. Wrong one. No, no, no. This is uh, if you want to divide the plunder and stuff. We'll do that later on. I'll talk about that at some other point. Um, shipwright is what I'm trying to go to. So, if, you, if I keep the trade galleon around, it'll hold a lot of the plunder, but it's kind of slow, so let's get rid of it. I can keep both the sloops around for now and we'll still be able to travel quickly, which is kind of the main thing. It also takes up more of your crew the more ships you're sort of fleeting around. To the tavern, try to get a few more crew. I like to have about a hundred if I can. Let's learn about Maracaibo. Apparently they've got uh, just a Spanish trading post. The wealthier they are, you can actually raid the city and take a bunch of loot, but you need a lot of crew. Um, like hundreds and hundreds. Probably like three or four hundred to make it easy. Six both in the Oh yeah, this guy's... They keep telling you more and more about the pirates. Eventually they'll tell you like his secret moves and his special attacks type stuff. I am kind of waiting for Baron Raimondo to, to sail by right now. And that treasure fleet. Alright, before we get into a fight, let's switch to the Sloop of War. Now, it doesn't have any upgrades. The The normal Sloop would turn better. But, the Sloop of War has more guns and more, uh... Um... More guns, more durability, more max crew. You are correct, Tuco. But let's rename this thing, because that's a silly name. We'll go... We'll call it the... The, uh, well, I'm not very good at naming ships. Let's see, uh, hmm. We'll, we'll just call it the Revenge Mark II for now. Because it's still just a sloop. We're not going to keep it all that long. But it's better than whatever silly name it used to have. Okay, so, good. Let's, uh, Spanish smugglers, not that good. Trade galleons, okay. What's this? A war galley. Now, see... We could upgrade to a war galleon right here. Um, it's got a lot of men, though. I don't really want to... I would lose a lot of soldiers if I fought this. Soldiers, a lot of pirates. But uh, we'll, we'll get there. Oh, they're sending a pirate hunter. Oh, a royal sloop! We got really lucky here, actually. The royal sloop is the best of the sloops. So we are capturing this. 20 guns on a sloop. It's probably my favorite pirate ship. Although brigs are pretty good as well, but 
Sloops are fast. Oh man. It's gonna hurt. Let's fight. Did a little bit of damage, but it's gonna hurt. So this guy's probably pretty good at sword fighting. Maybe. Now, the fact that he's got twice our crew isn't actually that big a deal as long as I win the sword fight. As such. So, we probably just throw all his crew overboard for the most part. That's pretty much how it goes, right? Except for seven, the rest drown. And we are definitely keeping this ship. Another upgrade right away. And this one can hold 20 guns. Beautiful. Alright. Let's go back, sell our ships again. Maybe... Maybe take out one of these trade galleons. That's the raider. It's going to attack Kirako, actually. That's kind of annoying. I should maybe consider defending it. The wealth of the town will go down, and then I can't sell as much spice. But I don't know if I can take that one. I'm kind of low on crew. Probably should have switched to the Royal Sloop, actually. I'd prefer if this guy just straight up surrenders. Got him. Alright, one more shot. Trade galleons are so slow, they can't turn for nothing. What well, wasn't my best shot ever? Let's let's just take one more. Hold the sails down so I can turn into the wind. There we go. They got no guns left. They'll probably surrender for sure. It does take your crew time to raise and lower the sails. I can... Oh, I don't have grape shot on the ship, right? Yeah, yeah, they surrender. Welcome aboard! Lots of goods. Goods are, I think, the least valuable of the trade goods. If I remember correctly. Alright. Alright, the raider... I mean, I would like to try to take it out. But I need to, to dock first. When we come out of here, we'll try to kill the raider. So that the uh, Dutch capital doesn't, doesn't stop bring, brimming with wealth. Alright, give me all your money. I, I mean that in a, a friendly tone, to be honest. It's a lot of food we're gonna lose if I sell all my ships. Maybe we'll get a promotion? I don't think we've done enough. King is happy? Oh, we did! Major! Uh, I think... Did we get the little medal? Is that what we got? We already had that. Cufflinks or something? I don't know what you get for Major in this game. But repairs are cheaper, that's why I wanted to do that before I went to the ship right. Oh, let's do a dance. We're not going to marry her, but uh, might as well show off the dance. Because the dance is fun, and you... I, I, maybe later. We're not high enough ranked, I guess. But the dances are kind of interesting, and I need practice anyway. So, we're selling this thing for sure. We now have a normal sloop. Sell that. And a royal sloop and a sloop of war. Got all the sloops. Yeah, let's just... We'll actually lose some food when we sell this, but that's okay. Dancing can be hard. Especially if you're trying to get little hearts. Alright, there we go. So this will be our pirate ship for a fair time. A fair while. We've got chain, grape, iron, and copper. Iron is like... Defense, copper is turning, there's like shot accuracy, shot range, sails to make you go faster. There's lots of good upgrades. Eight, I believe. But this should be a pretty solid ship for a while, fair while. Dancing's hard in real life, yeah. I get ya. More crew! Uh oh. There's some lecher hitting on our barmaid we've been uh, getting friendly with. I'll teach you some manners, Knave. I, I always pick a fight. It's good practice. Take that. <laughs> On your feet, sir. 
Oh yeah, if you get the timing right, I forgot about that. If you get the timing perfect, you get the counter like I did that last time. Thank you, lady. <laughs> uh, so if I did that first, we, put up, we probably would have recruited more soldiers. Or more crew, but oh well. That was fun. We're gonna buy the uh, three-string three fiddle. One of the hardest things to do is to keep your crew morale up. This will keep our crew morale up. And it's permanent upgrade, so we'll take that. Still waiting for him to sail by. We haven't actually spent much time. Like, we've been back and forth really quick. A lot of uh, voyages take much longer than what we've been doing. All right, Spanish Raider, let's do this. They outgun us, they outman us, but they don't have... Well, they, they, they probably... We outmaneuver them, for sure. Yeah, turn on a dime. We'll have a good old gun battle here. This is what I used to do on the old, uh, the original Pirates game. I got really good at long-range combat because the sword fights were even worse back then. Look, War Galleon, you don't have much left. Seven guns. I want to uh, chew down their crew a little bit here so we don't lose, lose too much when we board. Oh, we might have blown them up. Nope, they gave up. Sometimes when the mass breaks, they uh, immediately sink, but looks like we're okay. I don't know if it's even worth uh, bringing back into port, actually. If we get uh, promoted enough, you get repairs for free. We could take it to port, repair it, and then sell it. But, uh, that's fine. We'll, uh, we don't have room for the spice. We'll just take the spice and call it good. Uh, don't worry, we'll, we'll, we'll capture a war galleon one day. Or a royal galleon, I believe, they go to something like that. I don't think war galleon is the top tier. I don't think we'll get a promotion. It's always good to, to talk to the governor. He's happy that we took down a galleon. Yeah. I think that the stronger the ship you destroy, the more, like, promotion points you get. Something like that. Anyway, let's, let's just... Let's find some loot, basically. Like this!